Normally we'll start these videos off with a lot of like build up and hype and we'll be going to use car dealerships and talking about this purchase that we want to make and stuff, but nah. This, this got delivered on Monday, was it? Was it Monday? Yeah, Monday like morning. Okay, got trucked over from Calif- no, not California, from Washington. Oregon. Oregon, even farther. Yeah. It's not farther. No, it's I'm not good awesome. with geography. Anyway, Tommy, instead of uh, building up a hype for a while, do you want to do, you want to do the honors? Unveil? We'll do it. Unveil the new car? Drum roll. Look at that. Gotta be more aggressive with it, dude. Killing me, I'll help you. This is so exciting. Tanner Fox may have just got a GT3 RS, but we just got a JZX90. Look at that. It's his dream car. Is it your dream car? Um, it's, yeah, it's one of my dream yeah, cars. I, yeah. kinda, I have like a dream car for every budget. Hmm. And I've already done like three of them, so this is the next step up. So, this is actually Tommy's new JZX90. We kind of have an interesting story to tell about it and kind of how this car came about. But um, let's, before we get into that, let's, let's do like a quick walk around. Show me some things. Okay, so... Wait. Um, should we, should we talk real quick about people? Okay, if you guys don't know what the JZX90 is, this one's a Chaser, right? Mark II. Oh, okay, it's a Mark II. So, this is a Toyota. JZX90 is like the chassis code. Mark II, similar to a Chaser, they're just like kind of different variants. I think the, uh, the Chaser is kind of the more sporty version. I know the Mark II is normally like the more old man version. Yep. Um, still cool though. I like Mark II JZX100s. Anyway, so, um, this car is pretty cool. Uh, they came from the factory with turbo 1JZ engines and they're super reliable, great drift cars. This is why you'll constantly see us drifting them at Ebisu. Uh, like Taylor had his JZX90 um, that is now Grant's. I have my JZX100. Now Tommy has a JZX90. Yeah. All right. In the United States, not Japan. Because they're legal now. JZX90s are legal. They're uh, good for the 25 year rule. So this is like a new thing. When did they become legal? Like a year or two ago? Uh, I think the first model started in like 92, so last year. Got it. Uh, this is a 93, so this is even just now being legal. Cool. We'll show us, show us around, dog. All right. Well, we'll start with the inside. It's a little old man-ish, but I think it's cool. What's nice is like a lot of these cars come over like super, super heavily modified inside. It's kind of nice to see a stock interior because it kind of gives you a lot of options for what you can do with it rather than it already having like bucket seats and carpet ripped out and stuff. Yeah. So this thing only has... 50,000 miles on it. So really? 80,000 kilometers. No way. So it's almost as grandpa as it gets from a car with Japan, from Japan. So the only modifications done to it are a set of 326 power coilovers, um, obviously the body kit and uh, those wheels and a blitz intercooler. That is, oh, and a cat back exhaust. Does it have an aftermarket clutch or is it still stock clutch? Stock, or a good clutch. It, it, we don't know if it's a uh, stock or not. The guy didn't know. Um, but then it also has a 1.5 way Cusco LSD. That's sick. So That's like all the good stuff. It's pretty much other than you know a, a little drift e-brake button. <clears throat> this thing can go to the track right now and go rip. And that's what I'm like most excited about. So clean slate, and we have way more room to do things and modify it and make it my own, pretty much. Cool. All right. Well, pop the hood. Let's keep doing this walk around and then we'll tell them the story kind of behind this car and everything. Dude, it looks so good from the front. Yeah, I have like, this kit is starting to really grow on me. I was iffy about it at first, but it looks good. So we've got a non-VVTi, 1JZ, twin turbo. Um, well, I guess we'll talk a little bit more about how the car drives when you're actually driving it around. Yeah. Uh, anything sh I should point to in here other than um, the front mount? No, well, yeah, blitz, front mount intercooler, and it's got these really cool horns. That's what I'm like most excited about. Tommy needs some air I horns. I haven't had a, a car with a horn in I don't even know how long, probably six years. Well, it's okay, so. you'll put a different steering wheel in it and then your horn won't work anymore. Absolutely not, I'm gonna make sure that, <laughs> that doesn't happen. Car's pretty clean. Tell me a little bit about these wheels, Tommy. So, these are some 19 inch wheels. Yeah, what I actually found out about them is they are 19 inch work Durandel wheels and I guess they're more for like classier cars like this one. Does it pass the fist test? Is that a thing with wheels? I don't know. I'm not a stance Maybe boy. the rear ones. Yeah, those are, that's a fat lip, dude. The rears are like kind of sick. The fronts are a little bit on the lesser specs, but... Drift spec, dude. Already right, got rolled fenders in there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's... Everything's all stocked back here. We have 
everything literally stock. There's the Mark II carpet with the logo on it. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, there's literally, it's got a cool exhaust tip. Typical JDM angled exhaust tip. Yeah, this car actually looks really, really nice right now. Not that it didn't look nice before, but like we picked a really good spot. I feel like I was trying to decide what place I wanted to film um, the stuff with this car and this like industrial area. I thought it might get like look kind of washed out here, but I feel like the car just looks like it belongs. Yeah, it's, it's I'm just super excited about it. Um, it's probably one of the cleanest examples that I even looked at. We've looked at a bunch of them and this was like the best of the best that is currently in the United States. Obviously we could have sourced one in Japan, did it all ourselves, but um, Y plate really helped us out. So, and this was the best option. All right, so this, this is kind of where the story gets a little bit complicated if you want. Um, I don't know how much you guys are aware, but Tommy's been working for me for how long now? Uh, probably <coughs> almost a year. And he's, really? Yeah, well, the first California trip. That's crazy. That's technically when it started, not full time. Yeah. But it started almost a year ago. So Tommy's kind of like a full-time, what, what, what's your job title? He kind of oversees everything. He's like a yeah. second me. He's the Maybe. man behind the scenes. Pretty he, much, yeah. He gets the stuff done that would take away time from me to be able to keep producing daily content and it's made my life a lot easier and I've been super appreciative and it kind of all stemmed out of Tommy driving my truck and trailer that first trip. Um, and it worked out really well and I wanted to give Tommy a nice Christmas present and I thought about surprising him with a JZX90 and like working out some sort of deal because I knew there was this one that you wanted in, it was in Oregon, yeah, right? It was from the same place Oregon. that we wound up getting this one from. And I wanted to surprise him, I found one in Orlando. Um, it was from a place that I wasn't really crazy about, but uh, I was like trying to figure it out and I was gonna get him the car and then work something out where then he basically just gives me whatever he gets for his Skyline. And that, that didn't work out and I talked to him about it, I was like, hey man, I wanna give you like a really nice Christmas bonus so you can get a JZX90. And then this car came up. So there's a place called Y Plate in Oregon. Yep. Why do I keep forgetting that they're in Oregon? <laughs> they're in um, Oregon. And it's pretty cool. They actually specialize in importing JZXs. And the guy that owns it, Trenton is his name. He was stationed for three and a half years over in Japan. And uh, he's been to Ebisu. And he knows these cars really well. And he legit imports nothing other than JZXs. And he had this car. It was low miles and everything. So I was like, Tommy, yo, I'll get you the car, right? So that'll kind of be like your gift. And then just whatever we can sell the four-door Skyline for, which by the way is for sale. Still for sale. Yeah, he's gonna throw it back to me, and uh, it's cool. So now, how many is a JZX90? But anyway, the Y plate place is really cool because they do specialize in um, JZXs, but they also bring over like kind of drift purpose cars, and they even kind of do the thing that Power Vehicle does, where like they'll actually take the car and drift it to kind of show you like, hey, this is a, this is a capable car. What? with us like he helped work out a really good deal he was really stoked to hear kind of like what I was doing for Tommy in this and I think he's he seems just like a really nice guy yeah he uh, I wish I got to meet him yeah uh, he's wanting to yeah. um, but that's, he's got he's got a JZX 100 right? he has a JZX 100 jealous um, that is really done up I don't think I showed you pictures I think I've seen maybe, maybe, Instagram. yeah so um, he from what I, I've been talking to him on the phone uh, and through text and stuff for quite a while now just dealing with all like the paperwork and everything for this and um what i like about it like a, a lot of people like kind of sprung into the import scene to try to like import cars and make a quick buck but like a dude that actually knows what he's doing like has been over to japan like all these dudes haven't even actually been over to japan and knows the chassis well um not that they're like anything crazy but it is a lot different than cars that we have here having the one j's and 
kind of like a lot of parts that you can't really get here for certain cars. Like it shares some stuff with other Lexus cars, but some stuff it doesn't. Um, but anyway, no, it's really cool. Oh, and we, we just literally found this out today. Was it today that we found this out? Yeah, was it yesterday? It was today. We didn't uh, even know. Hours ago. So when you buy a car from Y-Plate, uh, before May 1st, you get entered into a drawing for a trip to Japan, Tommy! Yeah. It's Tommy's dream to go to Japan. Tommy keeps on hinting that he wants me to send him to Japan, but I'm like, nah, just buy a JZX90 instead and get entered to win one, you know? Yeah, but, uh, type it in. In addition to the flight to Japan, also either flight and hotel paid for, or a power vehicle missile car paid for. That's yeah. Tight. So. Pretty much, if you buy a car from him, but you can't—you realize you can't win, though, right? I can't it's win. It's gonna look rigged. But I, I'm in it. What? I'm in it because I didn't. I know, know, but like, you like can't win. That's true. I'm kind of sick of talking. Can we go drive it? Yeah, let's get that. I will say this is probably the first JZX90 I've ever heard with a muffler. <laughs> Dude, literally every car I have is just straight pipe. They actually don't like drone. Ah, uh, the JZX90s kind of do because the twins—they kind of have like a weird little resonance. Let's hear. Dude, it literally sprayed my camera with stuff. Did it really? Ew. Oh, it just, oh it's just water. Yeah. It just, it just got washed. washed. Alright, she is warm, so Tommy, feel free to give her some revs. Dude, it does honestly sound sick. Have you heard the turbo whistles? I heard it. You can hear it a little bit. Um, that like when I was driving around with the windows down, but uh it needs an intake. No, dude, like from the exhaust. Oh, really? Go stand behind it, yeah. Listen, it sounds sick. Like when it spools down. Oh, wow. Sounds sick, right? Yeah, that sounds real good. You soaked? Yeah, I'm, oh my god. You know, I want to ride. Yeah. Let's, go. Let's go get coffee. Let's go. Oh, yeah, good call. Leave it, leave it on. I didn't really show you guys that much before, but another kind of cool feature of this thing comes with this fancy head unit. You won't believe it. Literally, only plays jazz music. Is that a Japanese thing? Probably. Do they listen to jazz? It's, I mean, that's cool, I guess. Dude, this thing is so cool. I'm going to turn this on. Tommy's so excited. I'm, I'm so pumped. Look at this. Ice cold AC. Oh. It's got heat. I used it this morning because we're in Florida, but it got cold for. The Florida blood. All right, time to switch to the GoPro for this drive. Dude, it is so weird how quiet it is. Yeah, it's still like, I mean, that's like super low. I've never heard a stock one. What would that sound like? I mean, this is stock downpipe still. But like, what would a, ooh, that, you'll get some power from that. I know, that's why I'm like excited to get one. Is it downpipes? No. Oh. It, the turbos are in, in line. And they come out like one. Oh, interesting. Dude. Imagine what a stock JC would sound like with a stock exhaust. How's it? How's the coilovers feel? Uh, they're for my personal preference, they're a little bit bouncy, but I mean, they're not bad. It's are they, not are they stance boy stiff? Yeah, I, I think so. A little yeah. bit stance boy stiff. That's okay. You can sell them to some stance boy. I feel like a lot of JZ90 owners are either gonna be like stance boys or like drift boys. Why? Why not? What are you both? gonna be? Both. You can't have both. Yeah, I'm out. Both. You can't have both. I'm gonna have a. It doesn't work. I'm gonna have both. <laughs> but like with no rear camber, cause that's just, that's There's gonna absurd. be so many people triggered by me saying that, like posting clips of like slammed cars drifting. Yes, you can drift a slammed car, but it doesn't feel nice. And it's no. not nice to the car. And it's not fast and drip, but it does look cool. I'll give you that. The seat, so <coughs> this, because it's lowered a little bit and with like the wheels and stuff, it already, it has a little bit of uh, camber in the rear. Uh -huh and it makes it right away not hook and like that's not that's not fun i want you to rape the red line like first through third right now uh, come on just rape it dude this thing's fast <laughs> dude that uh was that uh, so like you know that you know the, like clunk when you shift yeah i think that's diff pushing yes that's like a super common thing that people change on these i think serial nine makes a really nice one that's like it might even it might be delrin mm. it's not it's not solid but it's not like poly so it's kind of like a nice happy medium you just lost your body kit did it i'm just kidding i was about to say <laughs> i don't know what that was though that was something on my road i <laughs> saw it <laughs> there goes tommy's bumper his super rare jdm bumper oh yeah i forgot to mention what it, I, it it's some weird name that i haven't exactly learn how to pronounce yet. Are you happy with it? Do you, like, do you like it better than your Skyline? Compare it to a four-door Skyline for the for the people. 
Okay, so compared to a four-door Skyline, it is definitely, it feels, it feels more like stout and not like power-wise or anything like that, but just like how it drives, how it feels, how the doors close. It just feels like a sturdier car. They're, and they're not as heavy as you think either. Like, it looks like it'd be some massively heavy car. Like, I mean, you guys see us tossing around at Evisu. Like, they're not that heavy. I Actually, I measured my Skyline and I measured this last night. Like length? Yep. Skyline's gotta a, be shorter, no? Yes, this is a foot longer than a Skyline. That's a lot. Yeah. So like, but it doesn't weigh much more. Mm. If actually, I think any more. I think Skylines are roughly 33, 3400 pounds and so are these. No way, my Skyline's gotta be like 2900. Absolutely. No, you still have full interior, full sound deadening, like. We're, we'll, we'll look this up after, but I swear, there's no way my Skyline's over 3000 pounds. I'll put money on it. It'll, it's 100% over 3000 pounds. I, uh, no, 100%, I'm gonna disagree with you. All right, we'll, we'll check and we'll see. We'll go buy scales right now. Go to Walmart. <laughs> Okay. Could you do that? Could you buy like four people scales? Four Publix <coughs> scales and just put them on. All right, we're gonna we're gonna need to. There's enough Publix on this road, honestly. For real. Um, so I think the the thing with this car too, I don't know if you've driven a lot of VVTi 1J cars. I know you drove Nicole's car at one point. The the non VVTi 1Js are a little bit like less meaty down low, like a little bit less torquey down low because they don't have the VVTi the variable timing. But they make a lot more top end power and they don't fall off. So this car's on stock boost right now, right? Yeah. With the boost controller, these cars are usually faster than the JZX 100s. Um, they tend to get turbo smoke, which isn't very fun. Mm -hmm. But it's gonna haul. Like when you put a boost controller on this thing. Okay. Merging with a right-hand drive car can be tricky sometimes. Yeah. Because like it's I don't know how to explain it, but it's just it's just weird. Can we go to Duncan? Do you want to go to or do you want to go somewhere else? Let's go to Starbucks. Okay, I'm down. So, I think one of the cool things uh, about this car too, and what, the reason why I love driving on my Skyline so much, even though my Skyline attracts so much attention, it's just cool having a car that you can't really like get in the States. It's, it's like a special feeling. I don't know if you feel that way, because you're, you're probably so used to it at this point because you've had the Skyline, but I love driving on right-hand drive cars. Yeah, I mean, I've had the Skyline for almost two years now, probably like a year and a half, and um, it's definitely, it still draws attention but it's like, it's good attention to, to me because like you don't see him all the time. So, Tommy loves attention. I do, lo I love attention. Especially it's like, when it's a female driving a yellow V6 Camaro. That is literally Tommy's dream. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, anyways. Anyways, um, I just think, I, I fell in love with right hand drive cars, um, surprisingly with uh, Kevin Lawrence. Really? Had, you fell in love with Kevin I Lawrence? I fell in love with Kevin Lawrence. He had dude. a Pulse, Nissan Pulsar GTIR, so it's an SR20 all-wheel drive, and hold on, hold on, hold on. more emphasis on that because I think they're the coolest cars in the world, and I, <laughs> I really want one, but I have no purpose for it. It's basically an Evo, but like lighter and with an SR. So like imagine my SR set up in an all-wheel drive little all-wheel drive hatch. Yeah, Unreal. That. Except for the the trans like would be the weak point. Yeah, but by this point you could just. They've made stuff to build it. Sequential. Yep. God, that would be absurd. <laughs> and I'm not going to do this, guys. You don't need to go like I'm like, I'm going to get a GTIR. But yeah, so I fell in love with right hand drive stuff. He <coughs> wouldn't even let me drive it. I would literally just cruise around with him on like Saturday nights. We'd go out to eat and like just go cruise around in it. And I would love just like being in the driver's seat without a steering wheel. It was just cool. So I'm like, I have to have one. And then it just has evolved into like, just getting the skyline and then sticking to stuff that's right hand drive just just for the wow factor even for myself i, I just think it's i think it's cool dude when we when we go get ramen together we have to bring our right hand drive cars and we can like park next to each other and like take instagram pictures with our ramen yeah yeah we're gonna carry the ramen bowl outside take selfies with it right yeah, man. yeah we can do that so i mean all right plans with the car um well first and foremost is to get it looking how I want, which is not going to be very hard to do. I mean, it's good uh, taste. Thank you. It's very rare in this day and age. Thanks. A lot of people just like to slap airbags and some big wide body kit ordered off eBay on cars and call it a build. It's definitely going to be uh, a car that I can <coughs> drive around every day, like no matter what I'm doing. So it's your daily? It's my daily. What about your other car? What other car? It's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> Is there another car? <laughs> Did you get me two JZX90s? 
um, <coughs> my my whole goal has always with like ever since I thought about getting the Skyline was to be able to have a car that you see like in a street drifting video in Japan where they like they can just go cruise around and go street drift or load up a couple wheels and tires and some tools and drive it to the track in a really cool looking car go drift it a whole bunch and then drive it home and it still looks good before and after feel, so. feel free to argue with me on this anyone in the comment section i don't think there's a better car than a jzx for what tommy just described even if you're going to tracks you can fit so much in the trunk and the rear seats the jz is so unbelievably reliable um and it's just a very solid platform like you don't really bend or break things at evisu evisu is probably one of the, the gnarliest tracks with drop-offs with stuff that can be bent with elevation changes and everything the cars always run nice they don't really have any weird finicky issues like a lot of nissans do um they're built pretty strong you can fit so much stuff in them and it's comfortable for going long distances so i really think it's like the ultimate drive to the track car yeah see i tried to do that with my skyline but what st stood out that you just said was the room in it my skyline i could reach out and i'm touching the door I like think, i think i had 16 total like wheels and tires in mind when i left Ebisu. really i wouldn't want to drive with that many in the car but like if you can fit eight in a car that's sick yeah like just alone i think you can fit like three or probably like three in the trunk when you remove the stuff like it's deep and then you can fit like four in the back seat and a couple in here so it's sick. I, I would say a 350z would be like a good a good challenge car for that but the problem with the 350z is you can barely fit like two wheels in the jack in it yep but this is sick and it's 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 a freaking jay-z dude they, they get decent gas mileage and they sound cool and see i i am still this is just because make I, the light make the light come on we're going Pull up we're going i need my starbucks is he gonna make it r154 gearbox God. you don't like r154 it's uh, i feel like it might be better with a <coughs> short shifter but like right now the throw is extremely long and a little notchy. I don't know if that's good because of, like everything's so clutching. new. That's clutching. Yeah, I mean it feels a little bit loose. I think the JZ100 R154s feel a little bit tighter. I've honestly though, like there's an R154 Nicole's car. I, I've yet to find a good short shifter for it. They're all just weird. Yeah, that's gonna be a task in itself. Just put a CD in it. I mean that'd be literally that just be for the shifter. <laughs> I do like how your CD shifts. Yeah, that's for sure. The S13. Might. Oh, we threw it a little bit. Did we? Oh yeah. Stance boy on. Oh man. All right. Are we, so are we going through the drive-through? No, 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 no. <laughs> we'll, we'll go in. Oh, we could go through the drive-through. We could. Yeah, let's do that. But okay. I want to drive. I want to drive it after. Oh, okay. Yeah, that works. Yeah. So we'll get our Starbucks and then put our, look at this dude. She's eyeing you up hard right now. Yeah, it's right-hand drive. <laughs> yep. Hit him up at Tommy Gun on Instagram. Oh. Yeah. Katie, you didn't see that. <laughs> the Katie's Tommy's girlfriend. <laughs> We're just playing. She wasn't very. She was a nice. Lady. She was a nice um, lady. So, you guys want to follow Tommy on Instagram? That's on the screen. If you guys want to check out Y Play, they have a bunch of rad JZXs in stock right now. I'll put a link in the description. Their Instagram is on the screen right now. Um, <coughs> anything else you want to say before I drive it? Um, don't break it. <laughs> you break it, you buy it. Me? Yeah. What do you mean, don't break it? I'm gonna find the first U turn I can and I'm gonna kick it sideways. Hi, welcome to Starbucks, so I can't get started to do that. Tell me, what's your drink of choice? Uh, my drink of choice is a venti vanilla cold brew with the sweet cream. And can I get two extra pumps of vanilla, please? I'm sorry, sir, I can't hear you. You're too far away. <laughs> it's actually very like Anything difficult else? and embarrassing. Yes, please. Um, can I have a large iced caramel macchiato? Uh, upside down with an extra shot of espresso. Man, that order sounds feminine. It, it really Yours kind of did too, though. Anything yeah. else for you today? Can I add some whipped cream to that, too? <laughs> Not a problem. Anything else? No, that's it. Thank you. Can we test I don't. I don't know why. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, so... Like, I, f I feel like a lot of people like make it look like it's like fun to, to go to a drive-thru and ran drive car, but like I did it in my Skyline and with the bride buckets. Like, I just felt like, it, like I was just just kind of like a little embarrassed. Yeah. Well, imagine mine. I have a fixed I'm like, one in mine. Well, yeah. I was like, it's so bad. Here's my money. Yeah. Well, take it that way. <coughs> well, yeah, but I'm not sitting there dumb. So what am I gonna do? <laughs> yeah. Um, I've been doing that for too long, and like the very first time that I took purposely took my car through a drive-through, I was like, ha, this is the coolest thing ever. After that, I'm like, nah, I will take the extra two minutes to park and go inside. 
it's such a hassle. Um, when we do Monster this car, if people want it, can we like make videos on it? Are you down for that? Yeah. Yeah. If we're like doing stuff on it in the shop or something. Yeah, that would be that would be cool. Yeah. Because I mean, because like a lot of, a lot of stuff that Tom, Tommy does is like sometimes just kind of like behind the scenes and stuff. So if he's at the shop anyway, using the lifts or whatever, and you guys are hyped on JZX content. I obviously don't have a JZX. I wish I did, but I can't. I mean, the Skyline was supposed to be my JZX replacement because I wanted a JZX 100. We could get one, so then I got the Skyline and tried to make it cool. Which and you did. Yeah, it's really cool. It's a really, it's honestly a great car. Still some bugs to work out with it, but I mean, it's no JZX, that's for sure. It is. Okay, one one good thing and one bad thing about the JZX 90. Hmm. Cup holder. Oh, is there only one? There's one, so that's good. That's a good thing. Is there no more? No. Nope. Did you check all the compartments? I checked every compartment. Huh. Yeah, JZX 100s have two. You should have got one of those. Huh. <laughs> Definitely should have got one. Maybe that'll be my next um, upgrade. Uh, common mod, by the way. When you're drifting, people will take off the armrests. You have more leverage for your elbow huh. to, oh, to pull up sense. the handbrake. Because you can't like pull it that hard. But if it's open, then your elbow dips down in here. Learn something new every day. Learn something new every couple of days. Is what oh, I dude, say. I'm going to rip that e-brake so hard. It's not even ready. Um, okay, so the other, the bad thing. What? AC only has three settings: low, medium, or high. So what if I get too cold? Dude, this is a temperature dial, you dum dum. No, Would, it's not. Yes, it is. That's to turn up the boost to 30 psi. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> what do you want? Like five, <laughs> five different fan settings. Um, my old vehicle, my Subaru, had 26. 26 different Everyone fan had, settings. Yes. Not even, not even joking. Like literally just for different amounts of fan. Yes. So like every click was a different amount for fan speed and it had yeah. 26 of them. I think it was 24 or 26. If you have an 0405 Subaru Thera X or STI, check your fan so it, switch. So it sounds like that's why those engines suck so much is because they put all their money into their climate control system. Yeah, and it's not even digital. Mm. It's not even digital. It's got 26 different fan settings and the car still vapes. <laughs> <laughs> I need my coffee. There's a nice cul-de-sac spot I'm gonna go hit up first. Um, how much red life do you have left on these tires? They're brand new. Brand new? Yeah. Oh boy, we're gonna have some fun today. Is this my phone? Can I? Is this my phone? If you want. No, I'm not gonna go do that. I don't street drift. Ooh, that's a nice little LLD. The steering feels nice. It's a nice wheel. I like this thing. How much? <laughs> Let me get this. It's not for sale. I'll trade you the Skyline. Nah. Needs straight pipe. People get really triggered when you say straight pipe. Why? I don't know. I just I just saw comments like, oh my god, straight pipe? I mean it's it is what it is. Though. Yeah, well just Jay-Z's for some reason just don't like really sound bad with straight pipes. These ones a little bit more than other ones, but well, whatever you did on Nicole's car. Did we uh did we have uh the windows open on that pull before? No, we didn't actually. Just so you guys can hear the sounds. stuff other than s chassis that's chassis drive themselves yeah jzx 90s are so easy to drive like when i drove taylor's car i think it was way easier to drive than my jzx 100 i don't know if there's something different with the uh, front suspension like how it works there must be because i don't think jzx 100 and jzx 90 knuckles are interchangeable that i don't know that's uh part of the reason why i'm pumped to have this so i can learn new stuff mm. it is really fun getting into a new platform so you can learn like new things because it gets kind of boring working on the same stuff over and over again. I know you had a lot of S chassis and the R32 is so similar. Yeah. Um, I'm honestly kind of getting bored of my cars. I kind of want to move into a new platform as well. That's a joke. That's a joke. <laughs> you have so many different ones. Actually, no, they're all the same now. Yeah, they're, they're, I mean, they're all pretty similar, to be honest. Like, it's a lot of S chassis. R32 is really similar. The BMW is basically a Mustang. Um, and then the, the Evo, though. The Evo is a curveball that's got me, like, really excited right now. Yeah, that, that one is... I love that good. car. It's a good car. You're a good car, Tommy. I'm kind of upset it's not here. Oh, dude, a boost controller will make this thing feel so fast. Can we just go like put like a little T in the back of mine real quick? Uh, Eric won't let me. Why? He's tired of uh, me asking to borrow his car so he gets to work. It's not gonna break, dude. <laughs> you can run 14 pounds. You can run more than 14 pounds on this. I put no a boost gauge in. You don't need a boost gauge. Come on. See, the Skyline has a factory boost gauge. That's true. Yeah. And an oil pressure, factory oil pressure gauge. <coughs> yeah, just because those cars have no. so many problems. Yeah, here we go. I knew what? you were going to say that. Did you? <laughs> yeah. You don't need a gauge when your car works all the time. <laughs> Never.
never heard of a Jay-Z with a boost leak. Ever. With a boost leak? Impossible. They're just built so well. The way that the head's built, it just doesn't, it doesn't ever leak a boost. Good to know. See, you learn something new every day. I say stuff like that sometimes and people think I'm serious. Did you, you, you see the thing in the group chat where I was trolling the dude on the 350Z page for like probably a whole 20 different posts just going on and on about we were talking about like ITBs and I was like explaining how the ITBs would like throw off the fuel ratio and that it, it doesn't ever knock or have detonation because a car's never caught on fire because that's what detonation is and the dude like took me like full on serious <laughs> some people don't understand that like there's a point where like you could say something that sounds pretty real but me? like you or mm. like when you're when someone is in the act of trolling you can troll to where it sounds very believable, or you can just say some wild stuff and like people just get so mad. I troll Tommy a lot. What it took you like it took you like a solid two months to figure out when I was actually being serious or not. Yeah, it still kinda happens. <laughs> because I do it really seriously sometimes and I always do stuff that's like borderline, like it's I use like facts for my troll, so it like kind of makes enough sense to be almost believable. All right, let's close this video out because I feel like we're going to ramble on forever. <laughs> we could keep going on for hours. Tommy's new JZX90. R32 is for sale. Please buy it. Uh, anything if, else? If it's not for sale, it'll be at the open house. If you guys want to check it out, which is this Sunday, this will be at the open house too. Yep. Damn, dude, you mean pulls out two cars? Oh, oh. This yeah, guy. two cars. Shut the So many. Shut up. <laughs> oh, Big Boost will be there. Big boost. That's worth coming out for. Oh yeah. See his wild berry boost. His car. wild berry boost in person. Um, we did. Did I mention in a video about? Oh yeah, I did mention in a video about if guys wanted or girls or people wanted to send toys. Um, what I didn't mention in the video, and I'll probably continue to mention multiple times. Um, the address at the moment is TBA to be announced. Um, just because we don't want people showing up to the warehouse other than for the open house. It is not a public location. It is not somewhere where we encourage people to just come as they're driving by. Um, in fact, we highly discourage it. And if we could, we would have gates up just because we need to have our privacy so we can do what we need to do. So keep, please keep in mind when we put up the address for the open house, that does not mean it's okay to come before or after the open house. Please only come during the open house. And I will also be mentioning this in another video. Do not, by any means, do any burnouts, any reckless driving, anywhere near the location. We are so fortunate enough that we are able to do it at our actual location and don't have to go and rent space. And we're getting all these businesses nearby that are nice enough to lend us space so we can have cars parked and we can have adequate parking for you guys. Please do not ruin this for us because it's something we want to do every year. There are apartments nearby. There are children. There are families. If you guys are leaving burnout marks on the road, if you guys are being super loud and driving fast, we will 100% not have a good time at that location. We might have to move. Because if, if this open house gives us a bad rep, we're going to be screwed. But if you guys are respectful and you guys drive carefully and everyone has a good time and it goes smoothly and we raise a bunch of toys for a great cause, it's going to look really good. It went really well last year, so I know that it can. But I, just, I know how things go. Just please keep in mind, instead of you're going to some random stranger's meet where you can do that dumb stuff, you're coming to a friend's house. Respect your friend's neighbors. I feel like it was a little serious to end in a very, like... Yeah, kind of. A very unrelated uh, video, but I guess since we were talking <laughs> about the open house, it just, it's been on my mind, and I don't want to not say it, and I want to make sure that everyone possibly hears it. <coughs> so, that's it. But. We will have cops there. Just, oh, yeah. Just... We'll have cops, so, we'll have tacos. And me. Oh, you don't want to mess with Tommy. Not on open house day. He'll run you over with his JZX90 and his R32. At okay. the same time. But I kept missing the shift knob. <laughs> the, sh the throw is so long, I can't find the shift knob. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you guys are as stoked for Tommy as I am. I know he's been talking about one of JZX90 forever, so I'm happy that he has one. And I'm very appreciative as much as it might. If it doesn't seem that way, I am very, very, very hyped on this. And I obviously can't thank Adam enough for giving me the chance to have this. Yeah, dude. No problem, dude. I just do a couple clutch kicks and we'll call it even. Hey. Handbrake works. Yep. Did you test that already? Yeah. <laughs> First thing. Right there, too. This car. Really? <laughs> yeah. Is that why there's skid parking in there? No, that's from an 18-wheeler that locked up its brakes. Really? Yeah. Okay, we're going to end the video here, not guys. Okay, okay, goodbye. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up button. We'll see you tomorrow.
When you say